privilege and pleasure to first introduce to you Alice Larson. Wow. Um, let me take you back to 1982, I think it was. Uh, it's hard to imagine today, but we only had 24 migrant and community health centers in the four states. That was it. Each one of them worked independently. Each one of them probably had one center. Um, the idea of working together was just unheard of. What happened one day was the central office in D.C. said, ooh, we like your migrant coordinator there in Region 10 in Seattle, and the guy in Dallas wants him. And so he was core, and, you know, he's got to go. Well, for the first time, some of us, and I should say, really this idea was sparked between myself and Maria Gardapi, who was then the director of the Walla Walla Community Health Center, um, we said, no, we don't want Jacob to leave. He's our advocate. He's incredibly adept. He knows us. We want him to stay. And so we started calling clinics, and we said, you know, we all need to protest together. And we had this famous meeting, which is probably the roots of the regional association in Seattle, where we called in then the regional administrator, because there were regional administrators. We sat her down, and we said, we don't want Jacob to leave. That was the first time that ever happened in this area. The clinics, as one voice said something, she went, ooh. <laughs> and she forwarded the message on to DC, and incredibly, they backed down. So what was the lesson from that? Number one, we said, as you all know today, DC, we're a long ways from the lesser Washington, as I like to call it, and they do not know what's happening here. Number two, wow, look what we can do if we pull together. And that was how this organization started 25 years ago. So we um, got a small budget from the regional office here in Seattle, shared services mostly was a, uh, the contract, so it was a $90,000 budget. And I did, actually, these pictures look like they were taken in 1983, but they were taken um, about two weeks ago. That's your first <laughs> office location. It's the, an old school building in West Seattle, the Fauntleroy School, for those of you who know that area. It was just taken over by a child care center at that time, and the rooms were cheap. They were essentially classrooms. So I'm just going to walk you down the hall. Looks like a lot of schools you probably went to in elementary school. And we used to have people come by and say, oh, oh I had sixth grade here. That's the door, the first office of the Northwest Regional Primary Care Association. If you can see that, it is basically a big old classroom. And you can't see the chalkboard, but there are piles that say toss. And so it's still, um, there's children toys there. Mm, I want to say it looked a little neater when we had the office there. So why did we choose this location? One, it was cheap. Two, it had a great view. That was out the window. And here's the other view. It had the child care center in the bottom. It sort of kept us real. And one funny story I like to say is, one day the teacher stopped by the, our classroom and said, um, we have these fire alarms, and uh, the kids are really concerned you're going to burn up. So could you kind of go out with us? So I'd be on the phone talking to whoever, and I'd say, oh, sorry, fire alarm. Got to leave. So and in case Bruce wants to go back there, the room is still available for rent right now. So we started out with two staff members, uh, Mary Deaton and Judy Martin, who were just dynamite. Knew nothing about migrant or community health centers or uh, public health. Um, learned were incredible people to start your organization. Uh, like I said, the first major activity we did was shared services. I look back over the documents and see what activities we were doing. Um, surprise, we did the first survey looking at your recruitment issues. So we have that document, which is very interesting to take a look at, still a major issue today. Um, we looked at shared insurance, shared auditing. Um, I can't explain to you enough how all this concept of sharing was so new. And really the first activity we did is we spent a lot of time talking your predecessors into joining. 
because that concept was very foreign. What can I get out of it? So, so we spent a lot of effort there. We also uh, were able to get a small contract for a lead screening machine because that was an issue at that time, which was passed around from center to center and probably one of the first shared activities that was really introduced. I also look back through our first annual report and it showed that in a six month period we had 157 contacts with centers with, uh, with our members at that time, variety of technical assistance and, and recruitment and other activities. And like I said, it's sort of, sort of your roots, uh, basically. By the second year, we had more than doubled the budget and we were well underway. As I look out at you today, um, you know, it almost makes me tear up because I say, this was an idea that was really good. You know, it really, it really has made a difference. DC knows who we are. Um, you speak as a voice and you speak strongly and well. We have, what, 89 health centers, uh, grantees now, and how many centers? Eighty-five centers, right? It's just you know, multiple locations. I mean, I'm just amazed when I talk to somebody. So, how many locations do you have? And they tell me multiple. We are, in, in, thankfully, saturating the Northwest. You're providing incredible services. And keep up the good work. The organization, as I look out and think about 25 years, you're strong. Stay strong. And I really appreciate being here. It's been a trip down memory lane. Thank you.